Good morning, everybody. Today is September 24th. Dr. Vong here with your quick COVID update. Numbers are plateauing, coming down a little bit, but I think it'll be temporary. Alaska is super hot. Midwest is about to catch on fire. North, the Northwest is going crazy. Idaho, yada, yada, yada. Okay, y'all know this story. I want to talk about the flu today. Should you get the flu vaccine? What do you think the flu season will be like? There's a couple of things about the flu that's interesting. So, Dr. V, what about last year when you guys were worried about, like, um, what was it, the double pandemic, um, you know, of COVID as, uh, with the flu on top of that. Let me tell you what happened with the flu last year, and that will make sense for this year. So normally, you know, the Southern Hemisphere is coming out of winter as we're heading into the fall, right? So their spring is um, our fall. And um, they've tracked the flu patterns uh, for a long, long time. And they know that what happens uh, every fall is um, starting usually around November, flights, international flights, bring the flu from the Southern Hemisphere into the Northern Hemisphere. That's basically it. And then the flu, <clears throat> what happens is um, the flu is respiratory, but it also spreads through contact through doorknobs, desktops, keypads, all that sort of stuff. That's why we were worried about that with the um, with the coronavirus. But coronavirus really doesn't spread on surfaces. It's really um, um, in the air, right? So then you get infected in office workers. And the other thing about the flu that's interesting is that um, you don't really, you're not really contagious until you have symptoms, or like a day before maybe symptoms and you know you that's can kind of when you're really contagious unlike the coronavirus where the wild type you know i mean you had a seven day period where you could have been contagious uh, before you showed up symptoms which is the asymptomatic spread that we were talking about and so those are very key differences so last year what happened was we shut down the world and there was no flights there was no international even if you wanted to fly internationally like you couldn't they were they were not flying the airlines were shut down that's why we had to do the whole spending budget and all that sort of stuff they were starting to open back up but not internationally yada 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 they're trying you know you get the idea but anyway so that's why we didn't see the surge last year of influenza was because there was no flights we were all shut down um and um you know businesses were stay at home uh, people were wearing masks, people were sanitizing their hands, everything, you know, is like kind of crazy. We were all wiping down doorknobs, wiping down tables and chairs and all sorts of stuff. So that really kept the influenza at bay. Now, fast forward to 2021, what's going to happen this fall? And Dr. V, do I need a flu shot? And the answer is, we're not really sure. But based on what I just said, we now have international flights. We have crazy ass people traveling just for fun, you know, <laughs> not for work or not because they have to, just for fun to get out. I got to get out. I got to go get my, live my life, Dr. V. And so I think we're going to see some, some influenza make its way uh, from the Southern Hemisphere. Although, you know, so far the Southern Hemisphere really didn't have a huge influenza outbreak this year. So there's a really good chance that uh, because this, you know, Southern Hemisphere, uh, Australia, those areas, like, really stayed locked down. So there's not as much of a huge tick there. So I, I don't really see a, a huge surge. And then a lot of major companies have uh, decided to, um, to not go back to work, have delayed uh, going back to the office till, like, next spring, for example. And <clears throat> so there's a good chance that... Um, that um, you know, there's not that sort of gathering. Uh, and with fewer cases coming over from the Southern Hemisphere, I just don't know if there, we're gonna have a huge surge. I, I doubt it. Having said that, if your doctor recommends you get flu vaccinated, I, I would tell you to follow your doctor's recommendations. I'm not your doctor. Now, I personally, now there's been some confusion about this. I personally have not had the flu shot uh, in a long time, probably since 2003. And in that time period, I've only had the flu like maybe twice in almost 20 years. And those were very bad flu seasons. And my office staff laughed at me. He goes, ah, oh, Dr. Vong, you said you would, you never get the flu and now you have the flu. This was like 2015 or something. And I said, no, y'all don't understand. If, if I got the flu, you guys are really fucked. And sure enough, 
man, like my whole office came down with it. I might have been the one who spread it. I don't know. My whole office came down with it. They were sick. They were sick for a couple of weeks, you know. And why why don't I take the flu vaccine vaccine? Well, because there's so many different viruses that cause influenza. And um, the vaccine is basically a statistical epidemiological guess. It's a group of scientists who get together who think who's trying to figure out the year before what predict what what are going to be the most dominant strains of influenza and create the vaccine and dispense it. That's very unlike like the chicken pox. Chicken pox is very stable. Um, it's one shot, maybe a booster for shingles later in, in life. Um, the virus itself doesn't uh, mutate. It's very stable virus like the polio virus, measles, mumps, rubella, etc. Those are very stable viruses. Influenza um, mutates every, pretty much every se season. And so science, this is one case where science is really behind um, the virus. And even though we made great strides and, and it's true, you know, 50, 80,000 Americans die every year from the flu. This is pre pre COVID obviously. And, um, and so for the vulnerable populations, um, they say get vaccinated. All right. I'm not gonna like, fine. I mean, the, if that's the recommendation, that's recommendation, but just remember the influenza vaccine on a good year, on a good year is probably about 50 to 55% effective, 50 to 55% effective. Um, and so for people who are dismissing the COVID vaccinations, I find it perplexing because we've got two very good uh, vaccines that are 94, 95% effective. The, uh, the uh, Pfizer vaccination with the third shot, the booster shot is showing 99 to 100% effectiveness. And even the J&J, &J, which was you know, only 70, 75% effective, still really good and then with um according to their their news release which is you know no one's reviewed their data but the second shot of j and j increases the effectiveness to 94 95 percent which is on par with moderna and pfizer so for j and j users i, I wouldn't panic too much <clears throat> i think you guys will get a second dose and i think that j and j probably should have been a second dose the whole time and for people who sit there and go well dr v how many effing like boosters and shots am i supposed to get like one every single year like hold on slow down here you, we're just we've got to control the pandemic we're still in the middle of a pandemic it might end up we need a covid booster every two three four five years we don't know like how long the effects are going to be but dr v but jane J, you know I, I read in the newspaper pfizer is already losing its efficacy well <laughs> calm down that might be just because it should have been a three three dose shot the whole time. It's just like antibiotics, you know. Like if you take an antibiotic, um, and if you check the levels of um, of antibiotic in your bloodstream, you have a peak point, you have peaks and troughs, peaks and troughs. And what happens is, at, let, let's say this is the line you want to get to to kill bacteria, and you'll have like periods where you go up, and and then in between doses you might drop down a little bit up. And you take a, another dose back down, what you're trying to do is spend most of the time above this killing number and that will get your, um, uh, you know, get you over that infection. Now, they have to do studies with antibiotics to see what is the correct dosing regimen. And for some illnesses, it's, you know, three doses or, or you know, one dose of Diflu can for your, you know, itchy private parts, you know, <laughs> or it could be a whole week for different diagnoses. So, um, you know, there's a good chance that when this is all said and done, the, the, the CDC, you know, should have said, well, you know, expect this to be a, a three shot vaccination or even a four shot vaccination. I don't know yet. I mean, I'm, that's science. Science says we don't really know, but we seem to think right now that it will end up being a three shot. Um, and you know, doctors, scientists, they're not great at communication. They're not press people. I mean, what can I tell you, you know? And suddenly you, you, they get thrown. Like no one has ever heard of a virologist <laughs> before last year. And now these people are thrown, these nerds, I love you, but you're nerds, 
were thrown into like a camera in front of their face. And um, it's very easy to seize up and to like have a brain, brain fee freeze. I remember the first time I was on television, I was like, what do I say? Like I like swallowed my tongue or some shit happened. And, um, you know, so we're going to get there. And, uh, the thing is, you just remember, we have to get over this pandemic. It is still a pandemic. It's not endemic. You're not being smart. If you said, Dr. Vong, look up the word endemic. Like I, I told you the word endemic this time last year. We're just not there. We're still in the middle of a, a surge. Um, it's plateauing, maybe going down. I think it will go back up uh, because of everything that's, ha- that's happening in sports and schools and colleges. And we just gotta, we just gotta get the vaccination numbers up before that becomes a reality. And how high that winter surge goes depends on how many people we can get vaccinated. And it will be, you know, it will hit the unvaccinated very, very hard. So stay safe. And um, if your doctor recommends you get a flu shot, get it. Otherwise. There you go. We won't know till next year. We won't know till the springtime. How was it? How was the flu season this year? <laughs> we, I mean, you know, hindsight's always twenty twenty, as they say. All right. Be safe. I'll see you back again tomorrow for another COVID update.